Hi guys, so the impact of Brexit seems to get worse with each passing month and there are few signs of anything improving. A number of businesses were surveyed and the outlook is not good. Nearly a third of those who replied to a questionnaire by One World Express said that they fear their company will close by the end of 2022 as a result of the long-term effects of Brexit. But while that is bad, a slightly higher number, 37%, believe that they will not be operating post-2027, just five years from now. Over 50% of those business owners said that they found 2021 to be much more challenging than 2020, even though there was a pandemic raging. Brexit was the clear winner here. 73% of companies said that they have had zero benefit from the UK's exit from the EU. 25% say they were significantly damaged by Brexit last year, and a third of those responding to the survey said their businesses have experienced difficulties when attempting to bring workers in from the European Union. Just under a half have said that they have faced disruption to their supply chains. As I highlighted recently, Northern Ireland, while being in a better situation than Great Britain, is seeing a similar complaint from its business leaders. The survey also found that 20% of respondents said that they had either stopped or reduced their dependence on importing or exporting to and from the European Union in 2021. Brexit and the pandemic seem to have worked hand in hand to make the situation worse for British-based companies. While those in the EU have been impacted by the pandemic, they don't have to deal with the problems of Brexit. A spokesperson for One World Express, which carried out the survey, said, and I quote, Brexit was always going to present challenges to UK businesses, but these have been compounded by the pandemic. With further uncertainty created by the Omicron variant, it is little wonder that so many business leaders are concerned about the survival of their organisation. He went on to explain how companies in Britain are now trying to break into non-EU markets. Indeed, trade between UK and non-EU countries have remained strong throughout 2021. After all, customs rules for such countries have remained unchanged despite Brexit, making the pursuit of trade opportunities beyond the EU seem a more attractive prospect. The impact on trade between the UK and EU was highlighted by city broker IG Group, which predicted that it would fall by 7.73% by 2025. But while things were bad for UK exporters, it seems to have boosted trade between EU member states who are filling the gap post-Brexit. The top countries benefiting from Brexit at the moment are Finland, Luxembourg and Portugal. Other countries that are filling the space left by the UK post-Brexit include Ireland, Croatia, Greece, Lithuania and Cyprus. The highest proportional increase occurs in countries where trade was small to begin with. This is what IG Group found. For example, in Finland, which exports aircraft and parts, destroyed its estimates by 11,000% at 1 billion euros instead of the predicted 870 million. Meanwhile, Luxembourg's actual figures for exports show an increase of 2,000% above the estimates, at 16.38 million instead of 770,000. So while post-Brexit Britain is attempting to find markets on the other side of the planet, the EU is beginning to fill the gap left behind by the UK by sourcing goods internally. This was something that was predicted, but how well it has gone for EU member states was something that no one could have foreseen. Brexit supporters will try to sell the idea that it makes economic sense to sell to countries far away, which it doesn't. But unless there is closer alignment with the European Union, Britain's nearest trading partners may permanently move away from seeing Britain as a place to do business. If the situation is to improve, realignment with its closest market needs to take place as soon as possible, but that's unlikely to happen under the Tories. So businesses in Britain may need to turn their support to the likes of the Labour Party if they want to see things getting better. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.